Hello and welcome to the did it did it did nah, just kidding. Today we are playing a starting, I should say, a dual civilization game as Askia, um, Songhai. I'm not entirely sure why I chose him. I just I really like the name Songhai. I think it's a very cool name, and they are cool historically. The Songhai Kingdom is cool as a historical entity. Um, I unlike the uh, our last Japan playthrough, I'm not going to be talking about history. Mostly because Songhai itself didn't actually exist for probably the vast majority of the time that Civ spans. But it also takes a lot of effort to make a series like that. And I'm going back to college in a week, and I'm probably not going to have time to do all the research and everything. Uh, in terms of map, we are playing on a skirmish map, which makes sense since we're just two people. Uh, map size dual, difficulty Emperor, since I we have to beat Emperor before we move up to uh, Immortal. Let's look at anything else. Water setting is on rivers and seas. I'm not sure I've ever actually played a full game on Skirmish before. I think I might have played like half of one, like on an airplane once or something, because that's all my computer could run. Um, I am, of course, not running time. We're also not going to run Diplomatic Victory, just because that's too easy. And that's kind of a cop-out. In this game, I think we're going to try to go for Domination Victory. But I don't even want Diplomatic. If I, if I, if the only victory we can win on Emperor is Diplomatic, then I really need to think about... Uh, my skill in this game. Uh, this does leave us, of course, with four city-states, just two civilizations, dominant terrain, random, I don't know what the other options are, and what global climate is. Huh. Um, that's pretty much it. Quick quick stuff, generally. I'm looking forward to see who we are uh, going to be playing against. So, without further ado, let us start the game. Musket. All right, all right, Scam. shut up. King Askia, so we have... This guy's not talking. Stop talking! Alright, now that he's finished with that, uh, we could go over our UUs and UAs and all that. River Warlord uh, received triple gold from barbarian encampments and pillaging cities. Um, land units gained the War Canoe and Amphibious promotions. And then we have the Mandakalu Cavalry, which is a medieval... I think it replaces the Knight. Yeah, it's better against cities. And the Mud Pyramid Mosque, which would be absolutely fantastic if it replaced the Shrine or the monument for that matter but it replaces the temple it's still pretty good it just gets an extra plus two culture um but a little bit late but it's fine begin your journey okay we are in the desert which is pretty appropriate for Ostia. um i guess we'll just found a city here we could actually move here is this hills that would have mean one no that's just plains we could move there it would mean being closer to the the enemy which we might kind of want Gotta think about this. I think being next to the water isn't gonna do anything for us. I might actually move. I think that's what we're gonna do. Being next to the water isn't gonna do anything for us. So let's settle our city, which is Gao, I believe. Yep. Um, in this case, do we go monument or scout first? That's the question. On a small map, um, I'm gonna say monument. But might be good to steal the uh, wonder or the the goody huts from the other guy first. But I'm not gonna worry about it. Just do monument first. We're definitely gonna do pottery. I uh, definitely want to get a shrine out. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, there can be actually there can. Okay, so everyone in this game gets religion, which which is fine. I still want to go shrine first, but doesn't matter. Um, okay, let's start exploring a little bit. Ooh, there was uh, one. There's definitely a lot of desert over here. I'm crossing my fingers we're going to be able to get the Petra. We may have to rush it. But we'll see. Hopefully, crossing my fingers there's no, like, desert over by where the other person is. Ruins. Ooh, barbarian encampments. Wow. That's helpful. So freaking helpful. Okay. Another ruins. Just try to steal these quick as possible. Um, this game, we are not playing with any mods other than... After the hour. It's pretty good. Other than, of course, as you can see, the user interface, enhanced user interface mod. I just decided to, since there's not going to be, this game is not going to be, like, particularly taxing on the computer system because there are only two players. So, for now, I'm just, we're just not going to use any uh, turn speeding up mods or anything. Um, lots of wheat around here. That's pretty good. Of course, Kiev's going to get that. 
love the idea of Kiev being in the middle of the desert. I guess we should just keep going east. Oh, here we are. Pachacuti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Making more money than you, that's all that matters. He, of course, has a scout. But he's going towards where I've already been, so... Natural Wonder. Ooh, what is that? Beringer Crater. Not that good. The science is pretty good. Um, okay, let's see. Writing. I think we're going to do writing. Definitely. I just love getting writing out first. Going for libraries as soon as possible. Um, I'm hoping that he's just kind of gone in a straight line here. And maybe we'll be able to find some ruins that he hasn't. Okay, we just finished a monument. Let's do shrine now. Temple of Artemis actually could be good for our position. And the CPUs don't usually rush it, so... We, uh... Might have a good time with that. Whether or not this... Whether the city-state gives us 30 gold will be the... But they gave us 30, so he... Uh, Pachakuti hasn't met them yet. Which is a good sign. Yep, there's the ruins. Perfect. This is such a strange situation. It's a one-on-one -on -one map. Liberty or tradition? Last time I did tradition and regretted it. This time... <sighs> what are we going to do? Liberty or tradition? I am not sure. Because I'm bad at this game. I don't know. Let's see. I'd say liberty. Because we're just going to... We're going to try to like drown this guy out. In terms of number of cities. So let's just go with that. Ooh, maybe the these barbarians will kill a scout. That'd be nice. Let's get this. 100 gold, that's fine. I could buy a scout right now. Um, I could also buy an archer. I'm not going to do either of those things. Just going to continue progressing. It's just nice to know that we do have the money to buy one in case that becomes necessary. Okay, he's gone. I'm just going to try to kill this archer. Other ruins here, of course. This would be a fantastic place for a city. Um, I might start making a uh, citizen. I mean, not a citizen. New units. I mean, new uh, upgraded unit. Great. Um, a settler and just put a city right here. I think. <laughs> because near the mountains, lots of hills. Of course, not any fresh water nearby, but it doesn't look like there's fresh water anywhere, so. Um, what are we going to do here? Should we try rushing currency? Let's do animal husbandry first. It does seem like this whole map is desert, so we may want to try to rush the Petra. Uh, let's build a settler. Can we rush him? See, that's this is this is a very weird glitch that I don't understand at all. Right? This doesn't make any sense, right? Right now we have one production. Right now we just have one production from tiles. So I put do production focus. And we're, we're getting seven per turn. Put it on production focus. Uh, now we're getting two production instead of the one. But we're still at seven, which I don't understand at all. So. And look, now we now we should have three more. And we're still not making any more production than we originally were. So what what's the deal with that? There we are. Now we're finally making more production. Which um, is perfect for our situation right now. Because we cannot starve while we're making a uh, settler. I imagine that Pachacuti City is pretty close here. So we... Oh, wait, is there a ruin right there? There is. Didn't notice that. I may actually be able to get that because we're spearmen. Um, preferably not going right through the encampment. But it's, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Stop getting in my way, you asshole. Okay. Well, uh, let's do... Do citizenship, or should we do... Be able to rush more settlers? Let's do... Republic. Get out of my way! Actually does pretty good damage to him. I'm just gonna attack him. Almost be able to kill him in two hits. Not anymore now. Just keep moving. Would love to sneak and get that, which I think we will be able to. Um, I have more gold than Pachacuti, which is good. I'm sure he probably bought something. Calendar. Wow, that's pretty good. That's actually excellent. I mean, not that we're going to be 
Oh, there is incense right there. I was going to say, not that we're going to be using that that much, but there actually is something within range. Uh, should we do currency? Should we rush currency? I'm going to do mining first, and then we might rush currency. Of course, now we're totally trapped here. I'm going to hope they attack me so I don't have to be the one to attack. But that might be a uh, wistful hope. Oh, yeah, that is good. Well, at least they moved out of the way, so we can move out of here without being in too much danger. I should move... I should... Yeah, I should move this guy back so I can escort the settler. Well, he's almost finished. Um, I'm going to move him around here. Also, we can found a pantheon. Let's do plus one faith from deserts. I think... I think that's going to be the right thing to do here. Otherwise, there's not that much that we can do. What is this? Oh, that's just a lake. It looked weird on my screen. Let's see. I think desert folklore is going to be the right way to go. That does a lot for us. Of course, the, we don't need to like rush a religion in this game because it's not going to get stolen, but all the faith is still going to be very good. Okay, finished our settler. We're gonna move him out here. Cross my damn fingers that he doesn't get pillaged. Hopefully the spearman will get there in time to protect him. Uh, should we just rush currency? I think we should. Whoops, that's not currency. That's not currency at all. Get out of here. Um, currency. Okay. And now, of course, Gao is totally starving, so we're gonna move that off there. We could do Great Library. We could very well try it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. You want to be friends? <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever, man. That's actually pretty funny. What are you going backwards for? What is this? Why is he... Where is he going now? Where is this guy trying to go? I told you to go this way. Oh, my God. This is a travesty. I cannot imagine that he's going to want to be friends with me after I place a city right next to his territory. Um, okay. Can I just kill you? Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. I don't have to worry about you anymore. Okay, so far so good. No one's made a city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, looks like we're gonna be able to do it. I am very impressed with myself. <coughs> Now, to make a worker or to make a, another settler? That is the question. We have so many guys over here. I think we're going to make another settler. I think that's going to be the thing to do here. Is it? All this territory is going to be... We're not going to... He's not going to... Well, maybe he is going to be still in this territory. Yeah, we're going to make another settler. I'm usually not this aggressive, and I also usually do terribly, so... I'm going to try switching it up, being aggressive, and hopefully not doing terribly. The question is, where should we put this city? Um, could we just put it right where the spearman is. That would be pretty good. Of course, we would like to put it somewhere within range of some source of food. But I'm not seeing anything like that around here, so... Can we get it? We could get it. We could put it right here. Then it would be in range of the the oasis, which would be pretty good. Um, of course, then that would leave this whole area unblocked, so then he could come put a city there. And it would also mean being far away from the uh, Behringer Crater. Uh, oh, there's sheep right there. Oh, there's another sheep right there. Okay, that's fine. I think we're just going to put it right... Uh, I don't know. Should we block? Should we put it here and block him off, and then buy these tiles or something? Um, this is this is a, this is such a good strategic position. I'm we're gonna put it there. This is just like practically impregnable. Um, okay, heal. Uh, we definitely need another soldier around here somewhere. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy an archer. I think. It'll be opportune. I'm ha pretty happy with how this is going so far. Of course, that's what I always say. But usually I'm not this aggressive, so maybe things will turn out differently this time. Um, can I shoot you? 
Nope. But now. Yes. Excellent. Oh, I should have just killed this guy. That was stupid. Okay. Uh, let's see. Of course, this guy's now about to die, but we should be able to kill these guys first. Perfect. Hachikuri has entered the classical era, which I do not think we have done, but it doesn't matter. We will soon. Settler is going to go down right here, I believe. Um, now, should we buy the Behringer Crater? I, we could probably wait because we'll probably be able to see him putting a city near here. So yeah, I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Where do we want to put this city is the question. Um, all three of these places are very good. This one might have this one will have some overlapping territory with Tombuk too. So I think one of these two. Of course, if I put it here, it's also gonna have some overlapping territory with Gao. So let's that basically whittles it down to this. Perfect, I think, right? Of course, putting it here would mean being able to get this incense incense. And there are a lot of oases over here. Yeah, this would get us in the range of two. Although this one's already in range of Gao. Uh, I don't know. This one does put us in range of one. This is better defensive. Hmm. We are going to put it here. Two wheats. An oasis. Yeah, I think I think that's pretty good. Actually, is that a third oasis in range? We put it here? Yeah, there is a... Or a second, because we'll probably be working this one with Gao. Um, okay, Tombuk 2. Make a library, I think. Probably? Yeah, I think libraries, definitely. Um, okay, I think that's pretty good for now. Crossing my fingers, no warriors come out of nowhere here. Um, they did get a new archer here. They haven't attacked us yet. They probably will be able to next turn. So I should really move this guy back in. I don't think these guys will be able to kill me in one hit. So I'm going to I'm gonna leave that guy unprotected out there. His hand axe is annoying. I could go try to kill this. I'm going to try to kill this barbarian encampment with this uh, spearman. We are unhappy, which is unfortunate. We are going to be unhappy for a while due to the fact that we're about to put a city down here. But at this point in the game, I'm not terribly, not terribly worried. Um, I think we're just going to make a monument here. And a library. And yeah, this city will be able to help us take care of this encampment here. Now we need a desperately need a worker so we can improve some um, luxury resources. This guy's going back into the city. And healing. And... Probably going to target the Axe Man. Just keep moving, buddy. Keep moving. Should I turn on resource icons? I'm never sure about that. So it might make it easier for those of you watching, but it also kind of clutters up the screen a little bit. I'll, I'll leave them on. Tell me what you think. I'm never sure. I've gotten comments saying people like them, and I've gotten comments saying people don't like them. So We'll see. Can I shoot this guy with this archer? I should be able to. Yes. And maybe he'll leave himself in range. Yes, he will. Is that in range? Yes. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Now I'm going to shoot the... the uh, axe man. Tomok 2, of course, is never actually going to grow. Um, which is... Is this going for a Behringer Crater next? Yes. Uh, when will you be able to grow? Wait, why are you not working this tile? What is this? How could this... How... Who decides this? Because I'm unhappy and so it, try, it like avoids food? But how is this possibly... I guess. I don't know. Let's just put it on this. We do want our cities to keep growing. Despite the fact that we're unhappy. Um, I cannot kill you in one hit. I'm just going to attack you. Archer, keep healing. We need a worker. 14 turns. Uh, uh, this monument should make it quicker, but by then it will almost be too late. We are pretty close to getting the Great Library. Probably going to play till then. We also did just get money. Can we do anything with that? Not really. Are you also focusing on something stupid? 
Um, mm, we could do this, but uh, I'm just going to leave it where it is. That production is good for now, anyway. Now, of course, we have to deal with this guy. We could we, Oh, we can shoot him with Jen. That's perfect. Excellent. Oh, there's another one. Ugh. I hate hand axe units with a burning passion. Yes, this guy moved into range. Perfect. So easy. Too easy. I'm going to take the first blood on that just to help it along a little bit. Most well-fed people. I'm not fed at all. All of our cities are stagnating. That's actually kind of funny. Um, and by funny, I mean terrible. Uh, let's see. Wow, this city is stagnating even with all this food production. Jeez. Okay. As soon as we can get a worker. Nine turns. Well, that will definitely be next episode. Mathematics. Mathematics. All right, we're almost at currency. Great. How are we looking in demographics? Two in population, not surprising. Two in crop yield, not surprising. Two in soldiers, not surprising. Two in approval, not surprising. Otherwise, we are first in everything, which is which is great. We're m much more literate than Pachacuti. Manufactured goods, GMP, and land. The land is a good sign. He hasn't expanded too much. This is going to be kind of funny if we ended up playing against Venice. Maybe that would have been a little bit too easy. back into the city and heal you. Jen can, of course, fire on an enemy. Kiev. Oh, I could steal Kiev's worker. Oh, I should have done that. I actually should have done that. I always forget about the worker stealing strategy. <sighs> but I always feel bad when I steal workers from city-states. Great library. Okay. Excellent. I did not think we were going to get that. Okay. Uh, let's do copper one. Um, I'm just going to leave you here for now. Choose free tech. I will choose currency. Even though we've already wasted turns on it, I could also still drum in poetry. I just want to get Petra, but but he's not even he doesn't have even done writing, so it's possible he's rushing currency. I don't know. We haven't actually been doing currency for that many turns, right? Let's steal currency. I think that's necessary at this point. Um, I am definitely going to build the Petra. Now it's a little bit dicey at this point. And now we are going to research not sailing. Masonry? Masonry or bronze working? Let's do masonry. Move on to the next turn. And I think... Did a turn actually just happen? That was so fast. I have no idea. Yeah, I think it did. Alright, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, I am very happy with our start. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do with this uh, nation, great nation of Songhai. Thank you guys very much for watching and uh, joining me on the beginning of this journey. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Let me know if you have any suggestions or comments or whatnot in the uh, in the in the comments, please. And give a like if you uh, like this duel let's play because I've never seen anyone do a video on of duel in my life, and I've never played one either. See you guys next time. Bye.